you know, with this great resignation, there's also a great resignation regret. So about 40% of people that resign are actually looking for another job already. <laughs> so oh, all really? to say, I didn't even yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah. So all to say is just kind of like their initial reasons why they wanted to leave weren't maybe, you know, grass is greener, weren't maybe essentially the root reasons, the grounding reasons why they wanted to leave in the first place. So yeah, of course this is like very normal behavior, but I think the way to, to address it is again, going back to doing your own work within. And by actually coming to an interview or before even clicking on the sites, job sites, actually asking yourselves those questions about like what means most for me and our deal breakers. And that we always talk about uh, on our side, at least purpose and values. If you have that going in, if they're not values aligned with that team or company, purpose aligned with that team or company, it's an automatic like I don't think this is going to be fulfilling or serving me. Accountability, in my view, is being able to answer the question to anything that's going on to what's in it for me and what's in it for all at the same time. So then there's an understanding of like, oh, I'm doing this because this fulfills me for X, Y, Z reasons. And then it also fulfills the organization or the company or my team at the same time, because I'm doing this. And it becomes a social contract, essentially, that we're establishing between whether you're the CEO or the lead of the man or managing the team or a person within the team. It becomes a complete contract understanding of here, this is what I'm here for. And this is how it's going to benefit you, manager or employer or CEO. And this is how it's going to benefit me. So I think it's shared accountability. And with that, it becomes less of like, you know, you're supposed to be doing this or you're going to be reprimanded. It's like, oh, I'm doing it because this is for me and for everyone. And I think something really big to remember about this too is that another way to sort of not have to, you know, sacrifice five you know, months, six or seven or nine, you know, whatever, or a year or two in this whole process is again, doing that work ahead of and in advance, but also realize even like the best places to work if you look beneath the covers, there are unhappy people there. And the reason being is like, this is just impossible for the Googles of the world to say everyone in this place is fulfilled and productive and engaged. So the key is, I think as us, as leaders and in, as an employer or employee, is to actually really have those conversations from the get-go of that immediate team. Who are you gonna be working with most immediately? And that's where that purpose and values alignment can be so crucial because if it's there's any mismatch there, it's a kind of a no brainer. But then it also gives you room to say, yeah, I could be flexible on not having this because they are so purpose and values aligned. So no time is wasted because you're able to actually be more confident about what is it that you really want. If you are loving the conversation that I'm having with Jen Lim, You've got to hear the whole talk. We dig into what makes us happy at work, why right now is the time to relook at your purpose and your passion. And most of all, why so many companies, big and small, get culture wrong. Click on the link right over there to hear the full talk.